you want to be legalized but legal, legalize uh, uh, knowledge uh, 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 legalize knowledge yeah, yeah. it must we go hope. to everyone <laughs> na nime kushow da okay uh-huh. saa hizi niko daysta wazi unajua uko nataka tu kumaliza hiyo degree ni sema ah pia mimi niko na niko na lakini venye umebonga uh-huh. na unakana kama ya masters yangu na phd stra hey, kamu kamu eh yeah. tunaku time e, kimaliza hivi ni teremuke utaset utaset ai ni lazima sijaja sema Sini maarifu wewe enda hapo wewe enda jule wewe sikia i did my i did my um, what is it called my undergraduate in Nairobi uni mm. but i feel like like <laughs> <the fact laughs> that, <laughs> ni kama si just soma hata <laughs> eh maze i feel like, like if you're alive you what i mean li soma huko jo no no as in as in as in ile ya you know i am young you know time what am i doing okay in the next 5 5 minutes to malize story So a story a day. So, so so when I was in states guys assumed this guy is not coming back. There's no way he's coming back. Sia kokule uzunguni mm. things are Kila nice. Poa. Yeah, you know live the american dream. Lakini like kona show us say actually where it's happening is here in Africa. Because Africa is growing, guys are young, like 70% of our population I think is under 30. So there's a lot of hope the market is growing the attitude is changing like I said I came back I saw lots of entrepreneurs not everyone is necessarily looking for a job they can do their own thing so I was like why would I want to remain in the US when it's actually happening in Africa and where is it happening the most in Africa see it's right here in Kenya so why would I want to be anywhere else you know this is where the action is taking place so I said I'm coming back And then one thing I also like doing is things that have an impact. You know where you can change lives. And there's so much to be done here at home. So why build some other place when you can build your own home and turn it into the heaven that you want to be in? So why go to the best place on earth where everything is done when you can actually build your home into that best place? So I said let me come back, let me join hands with guys over here and then let's do it locally. And then all that exposure that I got it wasn't just for me. it was for me to come and share with guys here because this is where i grew up this is where i came from so i owe it to our guys to come back and bring anything of land and then we just build this place ourselves so that's what i'm doing through education uh, trying to inspire guys to discover their talent and then to take their talent places so you can have a talent which is just you know like potential maybe you could be an athlete maybe you could be a singer maybe you could be an engineer maybe you could be a fashion designer you could be a chef by the way a shout out to my bros who are chefs uh, both of them uh, willy and oduya i mean you you just take your talent and you develop it into skill how by looking for activities where if you do things over and over again you become really good at it mm-hmm. doctor sure t- t- tell me about uh, the 50 years of strath so strathmo is celebrating 50 years of the school of accountancy mm-hmm. we had a power breakfast yesterday manu chandaria was the guest of honor mm-hmm. we have a gala dinner this saturday 6:30 pm <coughs> So Nakaribishwa just mm-hmm. check us out check us out on uh, social media mm-hmm. we're celebrating 50 years of accounts and you know accountancy in Kenya started at Strathmore there's a time when there was no accounts in East and Central Africa mm-hmm. so this is something we're happy that we we actually got involved in because after independence the accountants started leaving and no one was training accountants and then Strathmore jumped into that space mm-hmm. so I invite all of you to the events that we're having. Just check us out on social media. Mm. We also have a golf tournament on uh, 9th of December. Mm-hmm. So if you're a golfer, in fact the money is going to be used by Strath to help kids in uh, Kibera because we have a program called Macheo where we mentor kids in Kibera so that they can make it to campus. And some of them actually make it to Strath and we give them scholarships in Strath. So those of you who are saying sisi ni mababi, Strath ni mababi, Strath is for rich kids. Mm. It's not true. We have kids from all over Kenya, you know, Turkana, uh Garissa, you know, everywhere, everywhere in Kenya we have and people who've even come up from the slums, guys mm. who've come mm. from Kibera, mm. Madare. Mm. Uh, there are lots of opportunities and uh, so strath is is happening and we have this celebration so come and join us in the celebration mm-hmm. a few guys will be talking on that day ah uh, yeah mm-hmm. a few guys will be talking uh, who do in you fact are? now one of the guys i want to give a shout out to is wilfred mwangi mm-hmm. now this guy actually lived in kibera when he was studying in strath 
and he's written a book about it. It's called The Slum Dreamer. Wow. And he would come to Strath, he would pretend that he's just come from the same place as other guys have come from. So at lunchtime, he didn't have money for lunch. So he would say, I have, you know, assignments, I'll go to the library. Kumbe is just saving up on lunch money. And uh, he would wash when he was in Strath because there'll be no water back in Kibera. I mean, he did some insane stuff. But then at Strath, he grew and he ended up like myself in New York. And he was vice president of Citibank in New York. And then again, like me, he said, I have to come back home. Why did I get all this experience? Why did God send all these opportunities my way? Why did I learn the lessons that I learned? And he's now back in the country. So that's one of the speakers you can look forward to. Very inspirational guy. So this Sato, don't miss, be there 6.30 p.m. at Strath. Yeah, what is the one word? One, one word, not even one sentence, one word that you, tell, uh, that you would tell every young uh, uh, you know, gentleman and lady who's listening today who is literally giving up. He's saying, I come from Korogocho, from Ungwaro, and I'm, I'm just tired. I'm tired. I'm tired of his life, and I can't make it because of where I was born. What is that one word you tell them today? That one word is purpose. None of us was born by accident. You might think it happened by accident, but actually God had a plan for each of us. And each of us is unique. Each of us was created for a purpose. And so the day you discover why you're on this planet and the difference you can make in other people's lives, you'll have purpose. So keep asking yourself, given my experience, given my potential, what can I do with it to make a difference? Because I was created to make a difference in the lives of others. So you just have to discover yourself, discover that purpose, and believe in it that it's not by random chance that you're here. And if someone like God, who's almighty, is the one who decided on that purpose and you have a destiny to live for. All you should do now is discover it and then walk into it. Don't let anyone stop you. Don't try to copy other guys either. Each of us has their own path. Some are going to be musicians, like I said. Some are going to be radio presenters like yourselves. Some are going to be teachers like myself. Some are going to be footballers. Some are going to be fashion designers. All these different professions. You just find your path, your purpose, and once you discover it, don't be distracted. Just do whatever it takes to get there. And even if you can't afford to go to university or to go to some school, the way things are happening now, you can teach yourself on YouTube. There are free videos. You just need to go somewhere where you can get free Wi-Fi. If you're clever enough in Nairobi, sing Gumusan, or as I do to Kaizo. Then you educate yourself. As long as you can prove to employers that you can certain skills, that's it. You'll get the job, even without the certificate. I know it's crazy. People think it's not possible. Like, can you imagine you're so good at something, you go to uh, an employer and say, you test me, five to ten minutes. Bring your best guy, ask me any questions, and you'll see I'm better than all these other graduates who are in your, in your panel, who, who are in your lineup. And if you can prove it and you answer all those questions, you're getting that job because who's going to throw away someone who has more talent than the ones that uh, they have already interviewed? Awesome. Wow, wow, wow. Such Last a heavy weekend, morning. Weekend, such a lawyer. heavy, heavy, heavy morning. But uh, such an inspiring morning. Mm. Uh, listening to Dr. Vincent Ogutu talking to us. This is the Vice, uh, the Deputy Chancellor Planning and Development at Strathmore University. Dr. Ogutu has given us one of the biggest, biggest stories we've ever listened to yeah. in here. Inspired most of you just to get out there and uh, for your way. Yeah. Take your path. Do not be distracted. Get focused. Just like he's changing my perception about what I really wanted to do. I will never forget. Impossible is is not. It's not. It's, it's, nothing. It, it, it's, nothing. it's nothing. It's nothing. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, on Saturday is the big day at Strathmore as they celebrate Strathmore at 50. Check them out on the social media. Check them out in the medias, every other place. Just look at them. Follow them at Strathmore University. You know it will be happening at the Strathmore Business School. Come out there, listen and celebrate with them. And uh, just to thank you again, Dr. Vincent, we appreciate your time. And thank you. Thank you so much for gracing this show this morning. Karibuni sana. Asante sana. Join the world of View Sasa Entertainment and enjoy the videos you love. SMS the word View Sasa to 40984. Choose your preferred package plan. Select the amount for your chosen package plan, then click Next. View Sasa, connecting you to the videos you love. You now I go with the best, mate. It's the Hot Breakfast with Jeff and Jelano.